Hello, my name is Auntie Ife, and today I'll be reading a book with you titled Sizwe's Smile. Can you smile? Come on, try harder. Yes, can you make it bigger? Brighter? Yes. Caesar's Smile was written by Genevieve Tablanc, Vian Venter, and Lauren Rycroft. Join me on this adventure. It had been raining for days, and everyone was grumpy. Everyone except Sizwe, who woke up with his smile every morning. Yo, Sizwe, that smile is magic, said Gogo. Is it for me? Sizwe clapped his hand over his mouth. But it's my smile, Gogo, he whispered. His mother laughed. Sizwe, his smile is something you can give away without losing it. Look! She lifted him up to the mirror. There was a smile, just as bright as before. It was time to go out. Mama buttoned up Sizwe's wrinkles. And off the went through the rain to the library. Down the street, Sizwe's best friend, Zanel, stood at the window of her house, looking sadly at the rain. Sizwe felt a smile, creeping creeping up before he knew it his smile leapt out and flew across the garden to zanel zanel held on tightly to the smile it was far too precious to let it get away as this way walked away to the library zanel's doorbell rang it was the postman with a letter from my favorite cousin. Zanel was so happy that the smile bounced up and beamed out at the postman. Thank you, Mr. Postman, she said. Zanel's smile was the brightest thing the postman had seen all morning. It kept him warm as he trudged off through the rain. He came to a big house. Inside the gate, a dog was spinning around in circles, barking, barking, barking. It was so silly that the postman couldn't help smiling. <laughs> the smile bounced through the gate with a glitter of glee. The dog stopped barking. He pricked up his ears and wagged his tail. Then he turned and ran back to the house with the precious, warm, Smile. A bent old man opened the door. Oh no! You can't come inside. You are all wet, he told the dog. But right away, the smile beamed up at the old man. The old man stood a little straighter. Hish, he said. Who cares if it's raining? Let's go for a walk, boy. And off the wind splashing in the puddles. Here at the zebra crossing stood grumpy Mrs. Macabella, the traffic cop. She looked cold and wet and miserable. The old man knew just what to do. Morning, Mrs. Macabella, he called and smiled his biggest brightest smile but mrs macabella did not smile back standing in the rain for days can make a face sad 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 but a smile is a magical thing and by now the smile was so strong and so bright that it was very hard to keep inside it didn't work right away, but bit by tiny bit, it began to creep out until, at last, a great big smile <laughs> lit up Mrs. Macabella's face. <laughs> the school bell rang, and the children ran to cross the road. Mrs. Macabella put up her sign and smiled and smiled at each and every child. 
the children smiled at their moms and dads and their gogos and tatas and brothers and sisters. They smiled at the bus driver and the green grocer and Ume Macau who went off to smile at her husband who smiled at the mayor. The smile leapt and rolled and beamed and gleamed until everyone was smiling and giggling and <laughs> laughing hard in the rain in the library everything was quiet except for the sound of rain it's time to go said Susie's mother closing her book oh mom said Susie who had run out of smiles but as they stepped out into the street, what a sight! Everyone in town was there. Everyone! And they were all smiling. The smile bounced around and beamed at Seasway. They warmed him and tickled him and crept up, up, up from his toes to the top of his head. He was so full of happiness that the smile burst out brilliant and beaming bright. And something changed. The dark, gloomy, rainy afternoon didn't seem so dark anymore. Could it be? Yes! The clouds parted and the warm sun shone down on them. The biggest, brightest, most brilliant smile of all. The end. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time. Don't forget to keep on smiling. Smile.